Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are here today at the Magic Kingdom because today is the very first day that Disney Genie has gone live on the My Disney Experience app. This is the Fast Pass replacement, and basically, if you're from California, this is the Max Pass equivalent. So, brand new system over here at Walt Disney World, brand new way to get Fast Passes, which also includes the paid individual Lightning Lane attractions. It's a very confusing system. We are going to be here for the majority of the day, testing out the system and seeing how well it works, what its kinks are, and giving you guys the best advice as to how to go about your day when coming to Walt Disney World in the very near future. Not entirely sure how long this video is going to be because we have a lot to cover, but it is an absolutely beautiful day here at the Magic Kingdom. It is not too hot, not humid at all. It is going to be a phenomenal day and I am looking forward to having the best time while trying my best to figure out this brand new system. Enough talk, ladies and gentlemen. Let's head on inside the park. It's not very often that I come to the parks bright and early in the morning just after rope drop, but I am very excited to be here today. It's gonna be a fun day. I'm gonna be making a separate video in the future as to how exactly to navigate the Genie Plus system and the whole Genie experience because it is confusing. I'm confusing myself trying to explain this because Genie itself is free, but Genie Plus is is not there's big differences and it's honestly very confusing so I will do my absolute best to make it as clear as possible to you guys what I'm talking about I also want to say right off the bat that me personally I am NOT a big fan of the idea of genie plus the idea of genie at the free service is fine to me you know whatever you want to do to make the park experience easier but the whole paid option for genie plus I'm not entirely a fan of it but we are here today just to kind of experience it for ourselves so that way I can give you guys a fair and honest review. I am paying for everything today absolutely on my own. Disney is not paying me to make this video. They didn't give me Genie Plus for free to review or anything. These are all my honest thoughts that you're seeing in today's video. So after paying the initial $15 to get access to Genie Plus, we were able at 7 a.m. this morning to make our first Lightning Lane reservation. So the very first attraction that I made a reservation for this morning was Peter Pan's Flight. And in order to get to Peter Pan's Flight, we got to walk through Cinderella's Castle. So as I'm walking into Peter Pan's Flight for my very first Lightning Lane attraction, currently listed at a 45 minute wait with a line stretching out the door and around the corner. Once it's time for your lightning lane, it works exactly like Fast Pass used to work. So you come on in, you scan initially at the very front entrance, and then you come over here and scan one more time before you ride. <laughs> Okay, so, so far, very quick and easy experience with the Lightning Lane. I just got off of Peter Pan and I was immediately eligible to make another Lightning Lane reservation. So, I looked on the app and I saw that the next available thing, the closest one to me, was It's a Small World. So, I went ahead and made a reservation for It's a Small World, 10.30. So, less than 10 minutes from now, I'm going to be able to ride It's a Small World. So, the way that it works is if you make a Lightning Lane reservation, you have to either A, go to that attraction and redeem that that lightning lane in order to make another one or you have to wait two hours in order to be eligible to make another lightning lane reservations it's very difficult to to try and explain i'm having a difficult time myself wrapping my head around it just trying to explain it to you guys but we're going to continue on with our day to try to explain things we're about to head on it's a small world right now my lightning lane reservation is for 10 30. it is currently 10 26 so we're going to see if the five minute grace period is still there Thank you. And it does look like that five minute grace period is still there. Thank you. My goodness, my everything is jiggling. So 
I never told you guys earlier, It's a Small World is posted at a 30 minute wait and I waited only maybe a couple minutes with Lightning Lane. All right, so I know that when I was in the queue for It's a Small World, I told you that I went ahead and made a Lightning Lane reservation for The Little Mermaid. However, while I was on the ride, because I got nothing better to do, I looked on the app again and I saw that The Little Mermaid was only a five minute wait. So that would have been a wasted Lightning Lane. So I went ahead and made a reservation for Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin, which is posted at a 25 minute wait. So that made that made it a little bit more worth it to use a lightning lane if that makes any sense. So we're gonna head on over there right now. Only gonna take us a couple minutes to get there and we can hop right on to Buzz Lightyear. That'll be ride number four today. Four? Or three. I think that'll be ride number three. So just as an update, you guys can see over here that Seven Doors Mine Train is currently listed at a 75 minute wait. And this is one of the paid Lightning Lane upgrades. An individual a la carte Lightning Lane. This cost me $10 to ride today. You can see the wait time just dropped down to 60 minutes. So we are going to be riding this later on today at about 12-ish. So not too long from now. Alrighty, third ride of the day. Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin posted at a 20 minute wait. You can get a general idea of how long the queue is right now. Let's go ahead and head on through the lightning lane. Oh, well, the reason why the queue's so long outside is because they haven't extended it in here. Interesting. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how it's done. All right, current time is 11.05. I just got off a of Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger spin. Max it out as usual. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so lame. Anyways, uh, just got off of Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin, went back onto the app, and I made another Lightning Lane reservation, this time for the Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh at 11.45. So, a little over 35 minutes away, nothing too terrible. I'm going to go ahead, hop on the People Mover for a little bit, and if I still have a little bit of time to wait, I either might rewrite the People Mover or hop on the Carousel of Progress. Both really short waits. I haven't stopped yet in the People Mover line, so... Easy peasy. Please step carefully. So keep your eyes peeled. You never know what you might see. Oh, well. Thank you. At the Tomorrowland Speedway, put the pedal to the metal and speed towards the checkered flag in your very own race car. Alrighty, current time is 11.24. We just got off of the People Mover. We're gonna go ahead and make our way back towards Fantasyland so we can get ready to ride the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Again, that reservation isn't until 11.45, so we have a little bit of time to kill. Let's go ahead and see if we can find something short to ride with a five minute wait, just to kind of hold us over until then. So one thing that I wanted to bring up that someone asked me on Twitter, are you able to get a second Lightning Lane reservation for an attraction that you already rode? The answer is no. I tried to get another Lightning Lane reservation for Peter Pan and it would not let me. So just bear that in mind. Once you ride an attraction with Lightning Lane, the only way you're getting on it again is if you wait in the standby line. I have some time to kill before my 11.45 reservation for Winnie the Pooh. So currently posted at a 20 minute wait over here at Ariel. Let's see how accurate that is. Current time heading on into the queue, 11.30. Does anyone else look at a waterfall like this and think, you know, I should really go to a water park? Because that's me right now. Just the sound and the smell and how clear the water is. Like, I want to go to a water park. I haven't been to one all year. I should change that. Yep, very accurate indeed. Very accurate. That was a ridiculously accurate wait time. We got onto the right vehicle at exactly 11.50, so exactly 20 minutes. But anyways, now it is time for us to head on over to the Mini Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, and then once we scan in there, we'll make another Lightning Lane reservation. Oh, 
Okay, so it is going on uh, 12.30 right now. It's 12.25 at the Magic Kingdom today. And I stopped out at Pinocchio's Village House to try and get a little snack. I've got the kids PB and J and some apples just to hold me over my cheat days on Friday. But anyways, I just wanted to talk about uh, Lightning Lane for a second and what I've done so far. I've gotten quite a bit done and I'm actually very, very surprised. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised because it's the old school fast pass system and you know this is exactly how it used to work in the past but being able to do so much in so little time is is really nice I'm not gonna lie I have my seven doors mine train paid lightning lane to go to as soon as I'm done here it started at 12 15 and it ends at 1 15 and then I have a lightning lane for Splash Mountain at 1 20 so that's absolutely insane I'm getting so many done one thing that should really be noted is that for the paid lightning lanes the individual ones that you pay individually for Space Mountain and uh, Seven Doors Mine Train. Once you make those reservations in the morning, you cannot change or modify them. So if you need to cancel for any reason, or you can't make it to your return time, you are SOL. So just bear that in mind. Make sure you plan ahead and make sure you leave yourself plenty of time. Once that time starts, you have an hour to get there. Another thing that I want to mention is that Genie itself, the Genie Plus, the paid add-on where you can get the Fast Pass is $15 a person plus tax. So it comes out closer to $16. So for me, for Genie Plus and Seven Doors Mine Train and Space Mountain, it came out to just over $32. You take that and you multiply it by however many people are in your party, that adds up really quick. And that's not something that I'm particularly fond of, but for an individual like myself or maybe a couple, it's not that bad. Do I foresee myself using Genie Plus in the future? Absolutely, because it's just me. Most of the time it's just me or it's just Coda, and we can swing that amount, but I know that that is not financially possible for many families out there. So I have, I still have mixed emotions. Like I'm not a fan overall of the system and how they're going about it, but it is what it is. And I can only just show you guys how it works and what my experience is, and then let you guys form your own opinions. For me, I'm enjoying it so far but I know for other families it's not financially possible and that sucks and I agree with you guys out there it sucks what I've been doing to make things a little bit easier for myself is when it comes to the app I'm gonna show it over here there's only two pages that I'm paying attention to so you're at your my Disney experience homepage and right under where it says hello your name under today's plans you click my day and then from there I just go straight to the tip board I go straight to the tip board and that's really what I've been looking at all day long where you go to the tip board and you can see the standby lines and the next available lightning lanes. That's really what I've been looking at. If you get confused and you don't remember what you have next in your itinerary, everything is literally on your homepage. I see Seven Doors Mine Train, Splash Mountain, and Space Mountain over here on my homepage. That's just my um, opinions right now and my initial thoughts. But I'm gonna go ahead and snack down on this and head over to Seven Doors Mine Train. Time to redeem my lightning lane for Seven Doors Mine Train. That was a $10 scan. Pay ten dollars for that. <laughs> that was a very quick and easy lightning lane process over at Seven Doors Mine Train. Now we have our next lightning lane for right about now over at Splash Mountain. So we're gonna go ahead and redeem that. So the plan is after I redeem at Splash Mountain to try and get a lightning lane for as close to the current time as possible if that makes any sense over at Big Thunder Mountain. At least that's the hope. All right, currently 105. My lightning lane reservation is for 110. Let's see if we can get in just a little bit early. Time of day. Oh, 
got off of Splash Mountain. Fun ride as always. Definitely one of my favorites here at the Magic Kingdom, but I wanted to I wanted to say something. So, as soon as I scanned on Splash Mountain, I was able to redeem to get another Lightning Lane. So, I was going through the app and you can see over here, I was kind of scrolling through and trying to decide which one because it was just after 1 o'clock. It was 1.05 when I scanned in and the next Lightning Lane for Thunder Mountain was available at like 2.30 or I think it said. So I said, you know what, whatever. I made the reservation and it went from 2.35, what was displayed, over to 1.35. So I just got off of Splash Mountain right now. I can go right over to Thunder Mountain and immediately get on. It's just after 1.30 right now. So that is absolutely insane. We're gonna go ahead on over there and get that one done and see if we can get another lightning lane. Also, by the way, I just wanted to point out the standby line for Splash was 45 minutes when I got on. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad currently listed at a 30 minute wait with an extended queue stretching outside, but we are gonna go ahead, scan our pass, and use our lightning lane. Patient. Okay. Here's a little rundown of what's going to happen next. It is currently 150. My reservation for Space Mountain, which is paid by the way, I paid seven dollars for that. We're going to head on over there now. That reservation is for 210. So I'm going to, you know, take my time heading on over there. By the time I get there, it'll be time for me to go ahead and ride. Then from there, I have another Lightning Lane at Pirates of the Caribbean at about 235 that I got while I was in the queue for Big Thunder. So. It's gonna be a little bit of walking, but in order to make the lightning lane work, you gotta be willing to walk from one end of the park to the other at some point in the day. All right, let's go ahead and try something new. So with the Genie Plus add-on for $15, let me go ahead and pull up my screen recording over here and open up the My Disney Experience app. Let's go ahead and see if we can find the AR filters because supposedly there is a filter on the My Disney Experience app through Genie Plus, the paid add-on, that will let you take a picture in front of Cinderella Castle all decked out in its uh, 25th anniversary gear. So give me just a minute to find that and I will get back to you. All right guys, it looks like we finally have it and it looks like Cinderella Castle is completely covered in scaffolding right now. We have 1970 over here. Let's go ahead and move on up a little bit. We have 1970, okay, here we go. 1996, there it is. The 25th anniversary castle. Holy cow, who remembers this? I have a picture of myself somewhere when I was like two years old in front of this castle. I was born in 94, so yeah, I would have been around two years old at the time. Holy cow, this is actually kind of cool. And let's see, let's move on to 2021, and oh look, <laughs> it's, uh, it's the fireworks, that's cool. So we have the 1996, 1971, so that's just all black and white, a generic looking castle, and then 1970 when it was under scaffolding. That is really interesting. Now I've been scrolling through Twitter here and there and you know to kind of see what other people's experiences have been with Genie. So far my experience has been absolutely phenomenal. I am loving every second of it and I was actually on Prince Charming Dev's channel. I ran into Dev and he wanted to interview me for his channel and I was telling him like it almost feels like I'm cheating Disney right now. Like it's it, it feels like a pay to win thing where I'm just doing so much in so little time. Like it's going on on two o'clock right now and I am almost done with everything in the park. It is absolutely insane, but 
again, like I said earlier, if you're a single person or if you're a couple and you can swing that money, then definitely 100% worth it. But he said that he was having a huge issue at Hollywood Studios earlier. That's where he started his day and he was only able to do like two attractions over there and Rise of the Resistance was having such major issues. So your mileage may vary when it comes to this whole Genie Plus thing. I'm gonna try and definitely hit up every other park and to see how worth it it is to use Genie. But right now at the Magic Kingdom, for how many attractions there are and how fast I've been able to do it, it has been absolutely phenomenal. The weather here in Florida is nice enough where I'm not sweating bullets, but still gotta stay hydrated. Space Mountain currently listed at a 30 minute wait. We're gonna go ahead and use the Lightning Lane entrance. Little bit of a backup right now, could be many reasons. Wait a minute, I'm not even in the Lightning Lane. Holy crap, this is the standby line, I'm dumb. Can, 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 you, see my, can you see my dilemma here? I'm just dumb. But anyways, 30 minute wait, no wait for Lightning Lane. There goes another $7. Attention Space Mountain passengers. Space Mountain is a thrilling high-speed, turbulent roller coaster type ride in the dark. I paid seven dollars to sit in the back and get thrown around like a rag doll. <sighs> so when it comes to Genie Plus, there are other filters besides the Kate Castle filter. Like for this one, for example, this is a bubble filter. You can scroll on through. Let's see, they have a Genie filter. Oh my God, what is this? I gotta take a picture of that. Oh Jesus. I don't know if I like that filter. Oh, that is that is very bizarre and I don't know how I feel about it. Let's go ahead and scroll on through some more. Uh, some fireworks. Okay, Tank, what you got? Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Oh, you can like touch. Can you, can you touch and make fireworks? You can touch and make fireworks. That's cool. I like that. And then of course you have the Kate Castle filter. And then we're gonna scroll on through over here. So what? What is this? So take that felt, take back picture, take that picture. That's really cool. You can take different pictures. I like that. And then I think you finalize it with this. That is cool. I actually really like that one. Instagrammers are going to go nuts with that. Let's go ahead and go back over here. They have another, oh what? Okay, so this is like Constellations. Oh, that is cool. And they're animated. That is adorable. Holy cow, oh Wally and Eve. That is so cute. Okay, let's move on up over here. They got Mickey Mouse over the shoulder over here. <laughs> That's, that, that is low-key adorable. He's coming up and giving you a hug, or he's secretly trying to strangle you, or stealing your money. Oh, it's going into my mouth. <laughs> Try with someone else. Oh man, I gotta get Coda in on this. Holy cow, that is adorable. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Okay, okay, I'm digging this. What is this, unveil your inner Disney villain? All right, what am I? What am I? Show me. No. <laughs> no. I've already done a video of me wearing makeup once. I don't need to do it again. Next. 
Let's see, cook with Remy, jump into culinary action, available in Epcot. Okay, so that's specifically in Epcot. And tap to toss confetti, okay, okay. I like these filters. I like these filters. These are cool. These are cool. I like this. All right, now that we're done with Space Mountain and I've successfully traumatized myself by turning into a genie, let's go ahead and make our way across the uh, the uh, da, 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 da hub and uh, you go ride Pirates of the Caribbean. All righty, Pirates of the Caribbean is listed as a 30 minute wait and we're scanning in for our landing lane. Update time it is currently 3.20 in the afternoon right now. I just got off of Pirates of the Caribbean. While I was in line for Pirates, I made a Lightning Lane reservation for Haunted Mansion. The next available time was 4.45. So currently, what did I just say? 3.20 right now, 3.30. Anyways, we still have a little over an hour, and about an hour and a half until our next Lightning Lane reservation, which is honestly the longest I've had to wait all day for any of my Lightning Lanes. So the plan right now, walk around the park for a little bit, maybe hit up a couple of the other smaller rides here in Fantasyland. I'm in Adventureland right now, but in Fantasyland right now, Teacups, Dumbo, Barnstormer, those have relatively short waits, no more than 15 minutes. And then hopefully by the time we're done with all that, it'll be time for us to return to the Haunted Mansion. At this point, honestly, this is kind of a challenge of writing everything at Magic Kingdom in one day. So we'll see if we can do that. <laughs> Over here at Aladdin, it says it's a 20 minute wait, so let's go ahead and put that to the test. Current time, 3.22. I am now next in line to ride, and it is currently 3.32, only 10 minutes. I am a grown ass man on a magic carpet by himself. All right, we're gonna keep this thing all the way up high to avoid any spitting camels. All right, good? Good. So while I'm on here, I wanted to go ahead and take the time to quickly review and give some more thoughts on Disney Genie over here at the Magic Kingdom. Right now, as far as Magic Kingdom is concerned, this is a W. I love it here at Magic Kingdom, but based off of what I'm seeing on Twitter and talking to other folks who have been to other parks this morning, I feel like other parks might be a bigger issue. So before I give a final seal of approval or disapproval on Genie Plus, I feel like I need to go to other parks and give a review there on my experience using Genie at the other parks. That makes sense? Because right now, Magic Kingdom has so many attractions that are included with the Lightning Lane in Genie Plus that I feel like it is worth it. And, you know, just my initial thoughts. But that could all change, of course. But, you know, right now, for an individual like me, 100% worth it. I'm enjoying it. I still have some more rides to do. But you guys let me know down in the comment section below, do you want me to give reviews on Genie Plus from other parts. Let me know in the comments. Another thing that I want to mention, if you think you're going to get Genie Plus, if you have any thought about it in your mind at all, just get it in the morning. Get it in the morning and use it all day. It's $15 for the entire day and for all the included Lightning Lane attractions. If you're coming to Disney and you're getting Genie Plus, midday then you're definitely not getting your money's worth i will say that right now i bought it nice and early in the morning i was here just after rope drop and i have used it and abused it so yeah don't get genie plus midday if you're going to use it buy it early in the morning it looks like the carousel has a pretty short wait so i mean why not i apologize in advance for how much weight i'm about to put on this horse i almost ripped my pants getting up here i am a grown-ass man riding a pony at Disney World. Life's pretty good. I think this poor horse is shedding a tear. I'm so heavy. This would be a lot more fun if either A, I had someone to wave to, or B, if Coda was here. I have none of the above. But you know what? I'm still living my best life. You know, I typically hate this ride, but I'm not really gonna be spinning, so that's a good thing. I don't know how some of these people be spinning really, really fast. 
I'm just over here cruising. All right, time to ride Dumbo. It says it's a 15 minute wait, but let's go ahead and find out. Current time is 4.20, hail Snoop Dogg. I'm up next to ride Dumbo, and current time is 4.33, so it'll be about 15 minutes, pretty accurate. You know, at least the elephant gives me a lot more foot room to work with. Fly higher, package M. Current time is 4.40, so I could technically head on over to Haunted Mansion right now, but we are trying to ride everything at Magic Kingdom today at this point, so Barnstormer says it's a 10 minute wait. We will see. Let's go ahead, head on over. That was a painfully accurate wait time. It is currently 4.51. Gonna go ahead and start making our way out of Fantasyland, heading back over to Liberty Square so that way we can get on the Haunted Mansion so we can use our Lightning Lane. Here's the dilemma that I'm having. So I haven't been able to make another Lightning Lane since I made that Haunted Mansion one. Jungle Cruise is a 75 minute wait right now and the next Lightning Lane reservation is at 725. I don't know if I'm gonna be here that long, guys. I only have a couple rides left. After Haunted Mansion, I have the Speedway, and then I have Astro Orbiter. That is literally it that I have for rides. I've done literally everything else in the park, and then I would have to wait for Jungle Cruise. <sighs> It's gonna be a long one guys. It's gonna be a long one. I want to get literally everything done now when I say Doing literally everything at Magic Kingdom. I'm talking about rides. I'm talking about rides not shows So just bear that in mind Hall of Presidents and Chance Tiki Room Carousel of Progress I'm not I'm, I'm not counting that I'm counting rides So, Oh boy We'll get there. Someone is not having a very magical day. All right, so I am in the Lightning Lane line currently for Haunted Mansion, and I am now past my two hour window where I can now book another Lightning Lane, even though I have not yet scanned this one in. So uh, I booked my previous one at about 3.05, and now at 5.05, it let me book another one. So I finally booked that Jungle Cruise Lightning Lane for you guys. Perfect, come on in, tap on either side. I have been on my feet for so long. I sat down in this doom buggy and I about cried. I feel so good. At this point, it doesn't matter what time it is. My final lightning lane is for Jungle Cruise at 7.40 and I only have two other rides left. That is the Tomorrowland Speedway and the Astro Orbiter. Let's go ahead and get on the Speedway. I really, really don't like this attraction, but we're getting on it. God, this ride smells horrible. I hate this ride. who have been around on the channel for a while then you know that I used to work this attraction back when I was married way back before I met Coda I worked this attraction worst experience of my life I would come home every day smelling like gasoline it was horrible I absolutely hated it it was so bad and I honestly don't think I've been on this ride since I left so you know, at this point, I'm just doing it because I need to say that I rode everything. Yeah, I'm good not riding this thing again for another four years or so. The final ride before my final lightning lane. Two rides left. Take a look at that shot, guys. Space Mountain with the moon right there. Oh my god, and it's a full moon. That is insane. Once again, my fat rear barely fits in this thing. Make your rocket ship fly higher, pull back on the control lever in front of you. Pilot seven, adopt in three, two, one. To go higher, hold that lever in front of you. To go lower, push down on it. And this is the most terrifying ride of the park. I did not expect to ride this today, and now I am low-key freaking out. I 
despise this ride so much. But the view is absolutely lovely. We are on our side right now, and I am not comfortable. This thing is creaking. Oh my god. I am not having a good time right now. <laughs> Oh, this is nervous laughter. Why is my beam shaking? Oh, God. <laughs> I should have turned my hat around. Okay, uh, hat going backwards. <laughs> uh, the view is amazing, but I am not having a good time. Oh, God. And Castle's pretty. Oh, dear. Okay. Okay, this is fine. Everything is fine. The ride will be over soon. Okay, get me, get me down. No, but the worst part is that we're still spinning really quickly and then we're, and then we're being forced to the side. That's the scariest part. That is the scariest part. But somehow we miraculously end up in the same exact spot. Uh, get me the hell off this tower. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I didn't even realize tonight was a boobash night. Oh, sweet Jesus, it's a dinosaur. <laughs> I'm just over 15 minutes away from my Lightning Lane reservation. It's taunting me. I just want to go home, man. <sighs> At long last, the last one. Yes, thank you. <laughs> we start here in the Amazon, where it rains 365 days a year. That's almost every day. Over on the right, we have the Amazon butterflies. Their wingspan goes anywhere from 12 inches to a whopping so one foot. We should probably split. I find that pretty appealing. Oh, if you look at the back of the boat, you can see they got it on sale, probably about 50 percent. Oh, hell yeah, they opened up a bypass over here by first aid. Heck yes. I love it when Disney opens up backstage areas to go to the front of the park. Excellent. At what time do they open up the top of the train station for people to go up there and camp out? What time? I, I, I need to know this. As much as I'd love to stay and watch the fireworks after what has been an incredible day, I do not want to be a part of this, so I'm going to go ahead and dip. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after 11 hours, 19 attractions, well over 25,000 steps later, I did it. <laughs> I have ridden every single attraction at the Magic Kingdom in one day and this was all thanks to Disney Genie now by no means is this a full-blown endorsement I'm not fully endorsing Genie just yet I still need to give full-blown reviews from every other park because I've heard different experiences from different people at different parks so we still need to do those videos let me know if you're excited for those down in the comments section below but I just want you guys to know that despite the incredible day that I had today, I want you guys to just be aware that your experience with Disney Genie and Genie Plus is going to vary. Not everybody's going to have the same experience. Not everybody's going to have the same luck that I did. There are so many variables that go into a Disney vacation and a Disney day that it's, it's, it's really hard to predict what's going to happen, but I got extremely lucky today and I was able to get every single attraction done in one day from park open to park close. I already said this on Twitter. If you're not following me on Twitter already, I highly suggest you do so. I already said that I want to come back early in the morning one day soon and figure out a legitimate strategy for Lightning Lane and Genie Plus as far as what you should be doing in what order. But that's going to take some time to figure out. But if you guys want to see a video like that as well, let me know down in the comments section below. If you made it this far into the video, you guys are the real MVPs. I love and appreciate each and every single one of you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on everything that you saw today down below in the comments section. If you're new around here, please subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video like this in the future. If you guys found any information in this video valuable or if you found this video very helpful, then please do me a favor and share the video on social 
social media with your friends and family. If anyone you know is planning on coming to Disney World anytime soon, this is the brand new system and this is what you guys need to know from the initial first day. I will have plenty more videos in the very near future regarding Disney Genie and how it works and what other features are available. I am going to be bringing you guys that content in the very near future. So if you want to see more videos like that, then hit that subscribe button down below. Enough rambling from me guys. I've already taken more than enough of your time. I love and appreciate each and every single one of you guys for watching the video this far in. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, morning, afternoon, evening, and I will see you guys in the next video.